And coming up tomorrow night on 48 Hours, could an item found in many medicine cabinets have played a role in the murder of a millionaire? That's the question investigators started asking after he died suddenly in a lakeside community in South Carolina. 48 Hours correspondent Peter Vincent is live with a preview of his investigation. Peter, thank you for joining us. So what would have happened if Steve's family didn't ask for the autopsy and toxicology reports? This case would have not been solved. And why? Because they didn't realize that in the blood of the victim was liquid from eye drops like this called tetrahydrosoline. And it was discovered in a toxicology report to be at toxic levels. And it's very important. These eye drops, if you, if you use them as they are prescribed uh, externally, I, I use some today, they're safe. But if swallowed, they are very dangerous. And the makers of this uh, encourage people, please use this product as it is supposed to be. But if that family had not come forward with their suspicions because the, the wife suddenly wanted her husband cremated, immediately if they hadn't alerted authorities this would never have been solved those red flags that made Steve Clayton's family suspicious there are a whole bunch of red flags Lana Clayton the wife discovers her husband's body at the base of these stairs in their multi-million dollar mansion in South Carolina does she do CPR no Steve Clayton had a cell phone that was with him at all times. That cell phone has never been found. And when family converged on the, on the mansion to console Lana about her loss, she kicked them all out, said that she, that she was going to cremate uh, Steve Clayton's body immediately. And that's what triggered the family to say something is not right here. Oh, very interesting. Peter, thank you. And 48 Hours, the eyedrop homicide airs tomorrow night at 10, followed by CBS 4 News at 11.